All right, how's everyone doing? I'm Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out my channel. So what I want to call this today, this video, is don't get caught up in your past workouts, good or bad. So I think what happens with a lot of people, uh, regardless if you're a beginner, you're advanced, or whatever the case may be, we're kind of always judging. You know, We're judging our workouts currently, obviously, but a lot of times we get caught up in our past workouts, some which we... You know, we received a lot of gains from, regardless of what type of physical activities you're doing. Others, why we're lacking at that point in time. And one thing I'm going to tell you, especially for more middle-aged guys, is a lot of times I see my friends getting caught up in their youth. Why they're not as strong as they once were, uh, why they weren't as fast, why they're not as mobile, uh, why they can't do what they did in the past. And the reality is, <laughs> could be age, right? The other thing too could be laziness that we don't want to sometimes realize. Uh, also, you have to realize there's a lot of things going on in our lives that were much different in our youth. Let's say for instance, um, you may have taken on a family, kids, uh, a job or two, whatever the case may be, you're just different. And as you know, usually when you're younger, you have a lot more energy, just the reality of it. You're a lot more resilient as well. But put that aside. Um, past workouts, right? And, you know, I've been working out my entire life and I still do that. And I, I recap a lot of times ago, oh my God, I used to, you know, for instance, weight training, I used to bench press this. I'm benching a third of that. How much weaker am I than I was, you know, at one time? And the same with anything. It could be squatting or it could be whatever I'm doing physically. Um, one thing I've been able to kind of hold on to is jumping. I'm able to jump still very high for my age, which is pretty kind of cool. Um, but there are so many things I'm probably about 60% uh, less strength than I was in my youth. And for many, many years, that deflated me. Uh, especially after 40, it just seemed like I couldn't, I was not progressing or holding on to what I once held on to strength wise. I was trying my hardest, but then I started to realize I am not that person anymore. All right. I also realized year after year that, uh, for years I wasn't helping myself after a certain amount of time. I was actually, I'm not saying injure myself, but I was taking a major toll on my joints, tendons, and muscles. I went from actually, um, I think starting to do something while working out became something very healthy and then I got obsessed with lifting a lot of weights where in turn it ended up damaging a lot of my body uh, instead of helping it. And I think a lot of my friends uh, that are still kind of trying to keep up with their youth or their strength in their past by doing a lot of different things which could be taking different supplements or drugs or things in that nature too in the long run hurt them. So, um, and, and here's something now that's for more advanced obviously, but even if you're a beginner, all right, and I see a lot of people being inconsistent and because it's the new year, not too long ago, you have a lot of people doing the new year's resolutions. So I see a lot of people starting off like gangbusters and as time goes on, they become fatigued or they want to quit. They get bored, lose interest like a lot of people. Um, one of the reasons I think that happens is because they're bored, fatigue, and they don't have anybody to inspire them. And they're also caught up with not getting the results they thought they were going to get. But the truth is, it takes time to get results, all right? It's going, it doesn't take a lot of times, months, it may take years, I tell people all the time. Uh, but you don't realize your full potential because a lot of people quit before they get there. But I'm going to say this too, regarding past workouts when you're a beginner. At the beginning, a lot of times, you may either be excelling because it's new, right? You may have a trainer or you may have a friend or you're getting in there and just like anything, when it's new, you're just learning things and your body's like really uh, reacting to it, which is wonderful, which is a great thing. And that sometimes helps people keep push, you know, pushing forward to do more workouts, try different things. But then again, there's a lot of people that start off working out and each workout is more dreadful than the next, right? They're looking at it. They're not enjoying themselves. Um, they're getting tired, they're bored, or they're getting too sore. They may be, you know, and one of the reasons why I tell people is you may be taking on too much. All right. A lot of people don't like to hear that. You may be doing also something you don't truly like to do. If you are in that situation, okay, you have to change it up. If you join the gym and you don't like weights, they bore you go try something else. I don't care what it is. If you went and started with yoga, you don't like that, maybe go to a gym. Maybe you like swimming. Maybe you like Pilates. Whatever the case may be, 
Each workout should be inspiring you for your next workout. It shouldn't be holding you back, right? You shouldn't be, and listen, we're gonna have good days, bad days, you know, good months, bad months, all that shit. Hold on, I'm losing my breath here. But you have to realize, you know, you're, you're gonna have bad workouts, there's no question. You're not gonna always have great workouts, but when you leave a gym, or when you leave whatever you're doing, I should say, I'm sorry, is you should be looking forward to your next workout regardless how bad that workout is. But if you're in a situation where every workout is just daunting and shitty and you're not also getting the results you want, that's even another situation where you gotta really understand change has got to happen. You have to change. Also, depending on what age you are, again, or what you're doing, your body's evolving and changing and what once worked for you in the past may not be working for you now. But a lot of people get caught up doing the same routines for multiple years, even decades, wondering why they're not getting any new results, why they still don't feel any better even though they're consistent and they've been working out for many, many years. Understand, it is time to switch it up. Try different equipment right? Try different types of workouts. Go on YouTube. I've been doing that a ton lately. Going just literally, try, any exercise I've never done before, I'm doing now. That's my new thing. You might want to try that as well. Because again, I realized with a lot of my workouts in my past, they weren't bad. I get results because I just know what works for me, but I was bored myself. They become redundant, right? And I wanted to start, I, I call it body sculpting. So I'm always trying to try different things and build different areas of my body. But even I got bored with that. So anyways, I just thought I would do a video on this, but please um, don't get caught up in your past workouts. Start really looking forward to new workouts, exciting workouts, different types of exercises. If you love a gym, working out with weights three, four days a week, stick with that. But if you have a friend, like I said, that that hikes, go hiking with them. They may go uh, mountain climbing or mountain biking, or they may go do crew. Try different things. You'd be shocked. A lot of times there's things out there that you may like, or you may end up liking more than even what you're doing, or you may like just incorporating that type of workout into your workout, which is going to also give you different types of results than just the same one you've been doing uh, over the years. So... I'm going to wrap it up there. If you get a chance, check out my podcast, The Rich Chalenza Show, WTF Are You Talking About? I'm also on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. All right? Don't get caught up with the past. Let's look to the future, right? All right. Take care, and if you're traveling, safe travels.